Hiya pals, Disney devotee here. Welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to Dishing with Disney Devotee, my weekly series where I'd like to think we're at a coffee shop just hanging out, talking about different topics, whether that's relevant Disney news or top 10 lists, anything like that. I don't write a script, I just talk about what's on my mind for the week. <laughs> and this week, it is October, which means it's spooky season! Yay! <laughs> My favorite time of year. So, to kick things off, I thought let's talk about some moments in Disney movies that scared me as a child, and I have ranked them from 10 to 1. <laughs> let's get into it. Disney Devotee and again, these are my top 10 spooky moments. So um, they might be different than your top 10 moments and that's perfectly fine. In fact, I would love to hear in the comments down below, what moment in a Disney movie scared you most as a child? Let me know. Before I start the list, I just wanted to say, I think it's kind of interesting because a lot of these moments on my list, you know, scared me or made me feel uneasy at the very least as a child. But now as an adult, um, at least some of these on the list are things I appreciate more or enjoy. So I don't know. I find it fascinating how sometimes things that first scared us as a child, we kind of maybe become obsessed with and that's how we kind of overcome that fear and then we grow to like it as an adult if that makes any sense at all maybe i'm not making any sense but anyway <laughs> let's start the countdown no don't like that now number 10 the reason why it's number 10 is because out of all the other moments, this one probably scared me the least. In fact, I'm not even sure I would say it really scared me outright, but it definitely made me feel uneasy. Like, I don't know about this. This is weird. <laughs> and that is the pink elephants on parade scene from Dumbo. Um, Dumbo was not really a movie we watched that much growing up. It just, it wasn't a favorite in our household. But sometimes it would be on at like a friend's house or whatever and we'd watch it. Um, or even when I was younger and babysitting. <laughs> and the Pink Elephants on Parade scene would come on. And if you've seen the movie, then you know what happens. Dumbo... Uh, gets a little tipsy and kind of hallucinates, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, and it gets a little trippy. And I think that's why it kind of creeped me out a little bit as a kid, um, if that makes sense. It just, it was just weird. It felt creepy. And I will go ahead and say I did not put anything from Alice in Wonderland on this list. But honestly... Almost that entire movie as a child made me feel uneasy. Like, I don't know what's going on in this movie and I don't really care for it. It just makes me feel weird and creepy and yeah. <laughs> now I don't really have a problem with either. Um, I don't have a problem with any of these except for maybe one on my list, which I'll talk about later. But <laughs> number 10 is Pink Elephants on Parade. No, don't like that. Number nine is, again, one of those moments that I wouldn't say I was outright scared or terrified, but it gave me anxiety and it made me feel worried. <laughs> and that is the wolf attack scene in Beauty and the Beast. 
Belle has left the castle. She's fled. The Beast is being a little drama queen, so she's leaving. And unfortunately, a pack of wolves come after Belle. And yeah, I mean, it's an intense scene for a kid, right? And I was scared. I was worried for Belle's safety. I was worried for the Beast. Like I said, it wasn't, you know, super scary, but it is an intense moment in the movie where I was always like a little on edge. Because, you know, when you're a kid, at least for me, you don't necessarily understand when you're watching a movie that it's not really happening. And even after watching a movie a few times, I'd still worry about Belle and the Beast. So, yeah, you know, just a child's innocence. <laughs> <laughs> so that was an anxiety-inducing scene for me. No, don't like that. Number eight, I think a lot of people from my generation are going to agree with this movie scene. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. And it's actually two scenes, but it's from the same movie involving the same character. <laughs> And that is Judge Doom in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. After I said that, you probably already know what I'm talking about. Am I right? Yeah? Mm-hmm. Well, in case you don't, there are two scenes in particular that are kind of creepy, a little spooky. The first one is when Judge Doom dips a cartoon shoe into the dip. Yeah. It's, uh, he's, you know, unaliving a cartoon character, and it's, it's, it's scary when you're a kid and you're like, holy crap, what is happening? <laughs> and then, of course, the end, when Judge Doom reveals who he is, which, you know, I won't, I won't say, but if you know, you know. <laughs> no, don't like that. Number seven on my list is um, a scene in a, in a Disney movie that honestly caused a couple of complicated emotions at the same time, at least for me. And that is the death of Bambi's mother in Bambi. It's another intense movie moment where I wouldn't necessarily say I was outright scared, but uh, it was frightening, it was intense. And then she's gone and Bambi's alone and scared and it's so sad. It's first this intense kind of scary moment and then it's really sad. And then Bambi's dad comes up and he's like kind of mean and harsh. And I always thought he was a little scary. Like one of the first times I watched that movie, I was like, can we trust him? Is he a bad guy? Did anybody else ever feel that way when they watched the movie? Let me know in the comments down below. But I feel like that is, you know, a moment that deserved a place on this list. And it's a moment I think we all remember watching in our childhood for the first time. It, it's, um, it's a doozy. <laughs> no, don't like that. Number six is the nightmare scene from James and the Giant Peach, right? I mean, I remember as a kid watching this movie, and I, I loved this movie, and I still like this movie, but that scene, it's uh, creepy. <laughs> It's uneasy, you know? The the little boy, he James, he is dreaming that he's, you know, this caterpillar, and then his ants come up and they look all creepy and weird. And it's like a fever dream, you know what I mean? So that always kind of creeped me out a little bit. And um, you know, it was a part of the movie that I was okay with not always watching. <laughs> No, don't like that. Number five. Now this is an older, well, I think it was from 1980, live action Disney film that I just have tiny memories of. And that is The Watcher in the Woods, starring Betty Davis. 
Have you seen it? If you haven't, I'm not sure if it's on Disney+. Plus. Um, it's one of those movies that's really hard to find otherwise. But anyway, there's just one, one thing that I remember from that movie that just creeped me out. And that was the girl in the mirror with the blindfold. If you've seen the movie, then you know what I'm talking about. And I'll try to put clips of it in here so you can see it. But yeah, this family moves to this house and there's kind of just like some creepy paranormal-ish things that happen. And the oldest girl that's living in the house now, like she can't see her own reflection in the mirror. Instead, she sees this girl who's like trapped in there wearing a blindfold and... Yeah, you know, when you're a kid, that's scary. And I was not so sure about looking in the mirror for a little while. Like, I I don't know about this. I don't know what I'm going to see if I try to look in the mirror. <laughs> so, yeah, that definitely deserved a spot on my list. No, don't like that. Number four is actually a scene from Mickey's Christmas Carol. <laughs> um, it is after Scrooge has been shown his potential future by the ghost of Christmas yet to come. And then he's taken to the cemetery and he sees his grave. And then um, Pete, who's the ghost of Christmas yet to come, is laughing maniacally and like pushes Scrooge and basically it's like Scrooge kind of is falling into hell <laughs> and it's fiery. It's not that long of a scene, but it definitely scared me when I was a kid. Like, holy crap. I thought this was a Christmas movie. What's happening? <laughs> and um, yeah, it's, it's very well done. It's a great movie if you haven't seen it. Definitely add it to your list for the holidays. Um, I'm pretty sure that is on Disney Plus if you've never seen it. But, I mean, yeah, that's an intense moment. It invokes a lot of emotions, which it's supposed to do. It, it does its job beautifully, and it scared the crap out of me. <laughs> We're now to my top three moments that scared me as a child in Disney films. <laughs> and I have to be honest, I think, and I could be wrong, so let me know in the comments down below, but I think my top three are going to be a lot of other people's top three, especially, again, people from my generation, I think are going to agree, but, you know, I don't know. I'd love to hear. It's all personal taste. It's all different life experiences. So, let's start the top three. No, don't like that. So number three is another classic beloved Disney film, and that's Pinocchio. <laughs> After I said that, you probably already know what I'm talking about, right? Um, like Dumbo, this is another film that was not really a household favorite growing up. We didn't watch this one that much. Um, I just, I don't know, I didn't really connect with it. I thought the Blue Fairy was cool. That was always my favorite. <laughs> but yeah, this, this scene definitely <laughs> shook me to my core and made me very uneasy. And I was like, I don't think I need to see this movie ever again. I'm cool. I don't need to watch Pinocchio anymore. <laughs> and that is the Pleasure Island scene, uh, more specifically with Lampwick, when he is turned into a donkey and he's horrified and, you know, he he's heard the legends, so he knows what's happening to him. And he's like crying out for his mother and running around like braying and screaming and it's like, oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's scary, right? It's scary. And yeah, I did not like that. I did not care for that scene at all in Pinocchio. And um, that's probably why it was not one of my favorite movies. <laughs> no, 
Don't like that. Okay, number two. This is, again, two different moments in the same movie uh, revolving the same character. And they're basically kind of the same two moments just done again in the movie. I'll explain. The Great Mouse Detective. <laughs> yeah, if you've seen the movie, especially when you were a kid, I feel like you know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, that freaking bat was freaking scary. Look at, look at, it's freaking bats. I love Halloween. Mm, yeah, again, this was a movie that I watched maybe a couple times as a kid, and then I was like, mmm. I'm good. I don't need to see this movie ever again. And I have to be honest, I have not seen this movie since I was a kid. And I kind of want to watch it again because I think I would like it now. And obviously it, it would not scare me now, but it scared me as a kid. So the bat, I think his name is Fidget. Um, there's like a scene where he's chasing, I think it was a little girl. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've seen this movie, but there's like a jump scare where he like comes in a cabinet or something and you see his big spooky face. Um, but the moment that scared me the most as a kid was um, you hear like baby noises or crying or something and a baby stroller and then it ends up being this stupid freaking bat fidget again and he jump scares again with this big spooky face. <laughs> and I was like, no, mm-mm, 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 no, not doing this. We're not doing this. Nope. <laughs> I hated it. I absolutely hated it. So that is my number two pick. Scarred me for life. <laughs> no, don't like that. We are to number one. The number one moment in Disney movies that scared me the most as a kid was Night on Bald Mountain in Fantasia with the Charnabog or Chernabog. Sorry, I probably said that wrong. Um, basically, he's like Satan. Okay, we're going to just call him the devil. <laughs> It's at the end of Fantasia, or towards the end of Fantasia, and it's so good, and I love it now as an adult, but mm, I couldn't watch it as a kid. It scared me too much. If you haven't seen it, it's essentially, um, well, let me start over. If you've never even seen Fantasia, it's essentially a concert with animated shorts to those songs. So this is the song, Night on Bald Mountain. And then the animated story is, it's now nighttime and like what looks like this mountain, it actually opens up its wings and it's, you know, Satan. <laughs> and he's, you know, calling all of his demons and all the spooky ghosts to come out. And, you know, it's scary, especially if you're a kid, it's scary, right? So, I I did not like it. I didn't like it. It was spooky and scary and yeah, um, I loved Fantasia. We watched it a lot growing up. It actually was a household favorite as kids, but when that would come on, I would go into the other room and wait for my sisters to tell me when it was over because I couldn't, I just, mm -mm. I wasn't having any of it. I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, number one, that, that had to be my number one pick. Immediately when I think of what scared me the most in Disney movies, it's Night on Bald Mountain and The Great Mouse Detective. Those two especially. The other ones on my list, I, I could handle. I could handle. It made me scared, anxious, uneasy, but, you know... I, I would still push through, I guess. But these top two, mm-mm, nope. Not having it, not putting up with it, not pushing through. <laughs> 
So that is my list. And again, I would love to hear in the comments down below if there were any scenes in some Disney movies that scared you or made you feel uneasy. You had to cover your eyes or leave the room. Because <laughs> I feel like we all have at least one or two of those growing up, right? And yeah, I am just so excited that it's spooky season. I have so many fun videos planned for this month. Um, while I'm filming today, my Spirit Halloween shopping vlog will be going live. And that was a ton of fun. So um, yeah, if you haven't seen that yet, I would love for you to give it a watch. Spirit Halloween has some great Disney merch right now. And we got a couple of cool things. So be sure to check that out. And then Friday, I will be doing my Ursula Halloween makeup look. Uh, last week, I tried out an Ariel Halloween makeup kit. So again, if you haven't seen that, I'd love for you to give it a watch. It's a fun video. And I'm hopeful that I will like the Ursula makeup a little bit more, but we'll see. It's going to be interesting. I'm going to get all purple. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a wonderful, spooky month. Take care of yourself. Don't eat too much Halloween candy. And I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.